Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and I'm a sixth grade math and science teacher and I love all day things Disney. And on today's video, we are here at Epcot today and we are gonna go check out Festival Wait, Flower. Flower Garden Festival. <laughs> I was gonna say Festival of the Holidays. Flower and Garden Festival. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And who do we see as we walk right in? We see Pluto and Goofy. Hi. Yeah, you want Hi, oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't make them. Someone else made them. Yeah, thank you. We are back. So with every flat with every festival here, you have to get your passport. It is your key to everything and has all the things that are going on, especially the especially topiaries. the events, the topiaries, the fun for the kids, the dining, the merch. The merch. We it's got it all. Years. Yeah. Sorry. It's I got it all. And at the very back of the book is the. Oh, she's holding all my stuff. Yeah, she's <laughs> making me hold all her, her stuff. I want that noted. And at the very back is the um, culinary treat trail. The culinary treat trail, which is the garden graze where you can get a free item if you get eat all of these. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to be doing this today along with the Spike the Bee Challenge, which we are going to pick up right, right here. And as we are walking through the park to get to our first booth, we see the new Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. <sighs> so I cannot wait. For previews. Yes, opening Memorial Day weekend. So on our adventure, we found our first Spike the Bee, which is prehistoric plants. And what plant does he have, Nicole? Psychade. Psychade. So we're going to go ahead and place it on ours. And here we have Morgan placing her thingy. Psyche! We got our first one! She did it! Also, look at this cute little dinosaur that's in the display. That's it. That's all I wanted to show the people is the dinosaur. <laughs> Alright, so over here by Creations, they have this outdoor escapes where you can sit in some shaded or pretty shaded areas and enjoy what you've purchased. So, very cool. This is sponsored by OFF. So, we are at Sunshine Griddle, which is the first one we're actually going to go to. It's got the avocado toast, the shrimp grits, the corn beef brisket hash, the fried cinnamon rolls, and that Fruit Loop sh uh, shake. So, let's so, we have it all. We got the avocado toast. We got the cinnamon bites, we got the corn, the beef brisket hash, and we got the shrimp baguettes. I am so excited to try this stuff. Nicole's back with forks. I'm starving, so we're gonna go ahead and dig in. We'll tell you our thoughts afterwards. So overall, what are your thoughts, Nicole? Uh, the shrimp baguette hash slapped. It was so good, and the cinnamon rolls were amazing. And I hated the avocado. She hated the avocado toast, but I really like the avocado toast, so I guess it's like really going to be up to your interpretation of what you, um, of what you, of what you like, and I really like the shrimp and grits. They were super creamy, cooked just right, so good, and it was definitely a very good food. Oh my god, yeah. All right, on to the next. So one of my favorite things about fly the Flower and Garden Festival is the amazing topiaries that they have. So we have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Huey, Dewey, and Louie here. All three of them. And look, it's Spike the Bee and he has a Daisy. So. This is the perfect photo op and one of the most 
photo, biggest photo ops that I think they have here. So we are at Port of Entry and this is kind of all the merch that they have. They have these awesome cute little mugs that say grow happiness. They also have a tumbler with it. This is the Mickey line so you will find that this is what the back of the tumbler looks like. Um, they have the they have the spirit jersey for this festival. They also have little um, orange birds that you can wear around. They also have some different teas and things. They have this cute, cute Travis tumbler. So cute for flower and garden. And then along with this Grow Happiness line, they also have this cute little bucket hat. And then this is the Orange Bird Squeeze Me soda, um, kind of corsical cup for the festival. So that's one line. They have actually three lines. And a part of that line is these like cool little water jugs, almost like steins kind of, that say Grow Happiness that go with the mug. And then they also have these cute bags, cute, cute, cute bags. They have some gardening gloves. They have these um, very flowy tank tops. They're kind of almost a cottony, very cotton material. Yeah, and then they have this plant lady shirt. Can you lift this up to see the back? Is there anything on the back? Nothing on the back, just a plain pink tee. They have sun hats, aprons, all the things they have this adorable bucket hat which I will be wearing I love it I love it I need it and then this is what the um, spirit jersey looks like up close and then this is the back of it and I really really like this one opposed to the other one which you guys will see in a minute and then they also have a part of the grow green they have a tray and they have a whole pitcher iced tea pitcher to go with it yeah um, so that's so that's kind of the grow green collection. Then we come over here to the orange bird collection, which has these adorable little mugs. They have these salt and pepper shakers on the back. What does it say? Flower and garden. They have the think orange shirt, and they also have a colored one. They have the wonderful spirit jersey, the orange bird, Florida or the original or Florida orange, and then this is what the front of it looks like. Has a giant orange bird on it. I really like that one too. I think it's super cute. And then this is kind of where the Spike the Bee merch is located. There is some more orange bird, but there's a bunch of people over there. So they have a Be Kind bag. They have a cute little bowl and another set of salt and pepper shakers. They have this really cute um, bee shirt that tells you about different plants that help the bees. Um, they have this cute little mug. They have a rain poncho, which I am a huge fan of Spike the Bee, if you didn't know. Um, and then they have these pass holder sweatshirts that are figment. So this is the only pass holder sweatshirt they have. I actually really like that. And then they of course have the Junie and Burke bags there for the festival. And then I don't think there's much other Orange Bird merch that is left. A lot of it has sold. But again, we have the Spirit Jersey and we have the um, we have these cool little pajama pants. You have the orange bird plush shoulder and plush. shoulder plush, and that's kind of like everything that's there. And then they have these um, cute little hats. And then this is the this is the shirt that we saw earlier. There's nothing on the back; it's just plain white. Um, but yeah, and then and you have the dad shirt as well. That's what the dad shirt looks like. No, it's like just a collared shirt. And that? no. For Hawaiian Fridays at work? Maybe. But yeah, this is everything. We are definitely getting this hat because I'm so excited for it. So it's all she's been talking about. It's literally all I've been talking I, about. I, Other than the pins, I really like, like that is all I needed. So we're going we're gonna go make our purchases and that's and that's Part of Flower and Garden is they just released this brand new playground that is here. So this is a massive structure that has been going undertaking for a little over a month 
in two months or so, three months now, um, and it has so much, it so, looks like so much fun for the kids. It has slides, it has spinny things, it has plenty of seating for adults, and a few different things. So it's just bringing more fun, kid-friendly things to Epcot. Next up is the Flavorful Kitchen, where I can get the street corn, salmon, and strawberry mousse with chocolate crisp pearls. That's the dirt. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm literally looking at the picture, but no, it's not. Oh, no, it's the cookie butter worms and dirt. There you go. It's that. All right, guys, so we just went to the uh, Flavorful booth, um, which is right next to the playground, the brand new playground, and we got the corn. Oh yeah. And this is all garlic. It's, it's, literally it's legit all garlic. garlic. We got the worms and dirt mousse, which is half melted and I didn't get a worm. It's a drink. It's supposedly a drink, but I don't know. We'll see how we taste it. And then I got the salmon as well. She loves salmon more than life itself. Thank you. How's the dirt? It looks disgusting. It's just chocolate. Literally like chocolate milk. It's so hot out to be drinking chocolate milk. Alright. Alright, eat your corn. Did you remember to grab napkins? Yep. My sister, ladies and gentlemen. Also check out the swag on her head because she got sunburned real bad already. How's the corn, Mark? They're loving it. Okay, try the salmon. I'll hold your corn. I have nothing but garlic in my mouth now. I know it's on the it's on the corners of your mouth too. Okay. That's the salmon. It's so pretty. Did you want to take a picture first? It's okay, I'm taking it from the back. Okay. Is it fishy? No. Oh, you like it. Cooked perfectly. Pickled beets. Overall, just amazing. Yes. Amazing. Also, this view right now of the, like the gardens and like the walkway is just everything. We have mini right there. Yes, we have mini right there. All right, say bye, my. All right, guys. So we just went to what booth, Nicole? Uh, the cider one. The cider one. The cider house, I think. It's cider right. house, and we got the sco BLT scone, and we got the pink lemonade, the three dollars pink lemonade from Florida. Um, if you've ever been to Florida, go to Three Dollars Brewing. Support them. They're great. It's great beer. Great cider. Yo, so oh, good. That's laugh. We're gonna so good. All right, go ahead. Can I just bite into this? Do you yeah. Oh my god, that's black. Does it taste like the deconstructed BLT from... No? Better? No? Better? 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 It's better, people. Alright. It's like... You heard it here first. It's like a jam. It is. It's so good. Okay, here she goes. She's super sunburned, people. What you think? What? What? We're about to fight. I think it's good. I like the deconstructed BLT one. We're about to fight. You're wrong. 
so well. I'm going to sit here and enjoy, try to hydrate. I did run a 5K this morning, so I'm exhausted. So. And some beers. Over by the Tinkerbell uh, topiary, Tinkerbell's down there. We have She's along with a bunch of fairy houses and there's this little extra one off to the side. It's the cutest thing ever. All right, so we are at the La Fresca booth? La, La Isla Fresca. La Isla Fresca booth and we AKA got- AKA the Encanto. AKA where the Encanto booth was. Nicole got the cheese arepas. This is what they look like that she's already kind of digged into. I got the uh, tres leche that is made um, with non-dairy milk, so it's non-dairy, thank goodness. And then, what is this? Tropical breeze. A tropical breeze. Which has. So, I'm not, Nicole's looking it up. But it's frozen, and it's hot today. Lemonade, grapefruit juice, and simple syrup. Lemonade, grapefruit juice, and simple syrup. Very good. Very lemonade-y and grapefruity. Alright, so we are going to dig in. So as part of the festival, they have these festival market booths all around. They typically just have the regular merchandise. But at this one in particular, between Morocco and Japan, they have the topiaries that you can buy and grow yourself. So they have like a Mickey one. They have displays for Mickeys that you can make. They have like some bunnies left, some angels looks like a pig they are a little pricey that is $54 for the small pig but then they also have a giant Mickey and Minnie that you can buy for $550.99 so if you want a topiary so up next is a Haname booth which is the Japan and they have the Frushi! We're so excited. We're also gonna get water because I'm dying. Frushi, that's the Morgan. She's sunburned. Ah! How was it? Is it exactly what you wanted and remembered? I've never had it. But you had it last time. Oops. But she, so good. she has her first sheet. She's very happy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Over the cider we had earlier? Yeah, that's what cider That's different. Okay. Over the corn? Yes. So as part of the Flower and Garden Festival, they also have Rock to the, uh, the Garden Rock series, which is a different band playing here every um, week. Today is or actually every few days. Today is the guess who. So let me know, comment down below if you would like me to go watch one of the Garden Rocks concerts and which one you would like me to watch and maybe I'll live stream it. Next up, the Bear Martin with the potato pancakes for the Garden Grace. Just got the Germany booth and we got the pan uh, potato pancakes with applesauce and then we got the Raspberry Radler. You want to do the honors? Oh my god, I try the beer? Yeah. Oh, oh damn it, I like that. It's really good. <laughs> good. Every every drink we've gotten today that Morgan's got has been one that I've been like, oh, I want to try that. And she gets a small one and it's really good. And then the one time I make a decision without her, it, it was really bad. <laughs> and try the pancakes. I, I like pancakes. I like potatoes. I literally yell at Morgan every time I stay over at her house to make me pancakes. Or waffles. Alright. I don't know. <laughs> now it is, and we're back after a quick bathroom break. Morgan, what do you think of your potato pancakes? With applesauce. The second bite I find to be better than the first. Yes. They're an interesting texture. Yeah, I don't know how I feel I'm not about sure it. How I feel about like I've been eating them while she was in the bathroom, and I still don't know how I feel about it. Here, try the raspberry thing. I have a feeling you'll like that one. I like that a lot. 
I like that a lot too. If the line wasn't so long, I was going to jump back in line to get more, but it is very long because it is Saturday on the first weekend of Flowering Garden. All right, goodbye. So we went to uh, Trowel and Trellis to get some baby vegetables. Um, this is the last on the Garden Grease tour. This is a uh, hummus with a uh, two different kinds of hummus with some baby vegetables. We're not sure what this green one is, so I just put it off because How is this? Not as great. Your face, says, Morgan's face says it all. She's really bad at like not telling you how it is. The carrot's good? That's good. How's the red hummus? It's hot, huh? It looks hot. So it is red pepper, roasted red pepper hummus, but it is spicy apparently. Want some water? That's good. All the vegetables themselves are good. It's just the main hummus I do not like. All right, guys. So you go to the pineapple promenade to redeem your prize, and this is our prize. We got some sort of Sunday concoction smells like lime dole whip possibly and then we also got this really uh -huh. cute uh -huh. packet of seeds oh my God, it does smell like that are for cons are for planting not consumption is what the person told us so Can I eat the white chocolate? sure mm, that is lime but it's like it's like Sprite. Oh. It tastes like Sprite. I don't know. I like it. Okay. Are you going to eat the white chocolate or no? Yes. Take your spoon. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were handing me. Oh, yeah. The white chocolate is good. Do you want a bite? All right. That's an interesting taste. I like it. I think it tastes like Sprite. Very sour. And after those vegetables, not what I was expecting. Maybe they wanted you to do the vegetables. Maybe. All right. So this is what the cup looks like. I, want my bowl back. I don't know if I'm getting good lighting or not because my sunglasses are on. No, my sunglasses are on. Can you take them off? Sure. Thank you. Oh. Okay. So this is what the cup looks like. It says Garden, and then on the other side, it says Grays Garden Grays Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So this challenge may be over, but not our day. We have one more specialty for Flower and Garden left for today, and it is probably one of the best things at Flower and Garden, so I'm super excited. Oh, to go and the thing it. tonight. I saw him. Oh. And we are going into the Butterfly Garden, which is the best part of this festival by far, and here is the last Spike the Bee, along with Bambi, Thumper, and okay. Flower, of course. So this is Bambi's butterfly house and it is part of this festival only for this festival and there are oh yeah I was told to hold anyway this is a butterfly house full of beautiful flowers and butterflies that you get to see thank you and in we go So we came back to Farmer's Fre Fresh Feast, Farmer's Feast. My friend is working at Hi Diana. And we got a the goat cheese popsicle, so I'm cream creamsicle. So I'm super I'm super excited to eat it. No, it doesn't. It's it's orange creamsicle. Okay. 
You're so sunburned. Guys, really, just put sunblock on. That's all I can say. How is it? What you think? Very good. I'm gonna try out the strawberry. What's the cake? I don't know. I didn't eat you. Let me eat it. Is it just like pound cake? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? No. So what's your best of the best? I think this is to take the place of the creamsicles from last year. Oh, the that three were so ones? so good. Yeah, that were so good. I'm really upset they didn't bring them back this year. Wait, aren't they going to be at one of the like things that's like changing every six weeks? That's this one. No. One of the other booths changes every couple weeks too. No. I don't know. I feel like they should bring those back. Those were really good. Those were so good, especially in the hot, hot Florida heat. Maybe they'll bring them back for food and wine because they were so successful. Um, I really want them to bring back the empanadas from uh, Encanto if anyone from Disney is watching this. Alright, so. Best and best worst of the, of the best. best. My best of the best is probably. I don't even remember what we ate today. You ate so much today. I ate so much today. It's okay because you- Probably the shrimp and grits, honestly. I love that From the first grits. booth? From the very first booth. And it was so good that I just think that that was probably- Was that yours? No. That that was probably my, my best of the best. Really? What was your worst to the best? The vegetables. Alright, Nick. What was your best of the best? The best of the best. Corned beef pie. Okay. And what was your worst? Everything else. You didn't like anything else? Oh no, I think my worst for the fest was the uh God, there were a lot of really bad things. You like the scone? I did like the scone. The scone was bomb and so was the strawberry lemonade cider. But they all beat beat over the corned beef hash? Oh my god, yeah. The BLT is a really close second to the corned beef hash. I just really liked it. It was, really, it was exactly what I did this morning when you forced me outside in the heat. It was in the afternoon. Um, my worst of the fest, okay. It's probably going to be the Encanto. Oh, yeah. That was bad. The grape was so bad. They it's very grapefruity. No, it was just sour. Yeah. It wasn't even like good grape. Probably that, and then my arepas weren't like they were like they kind of were like popular. Like, I've had arepas before, they're not supposed to be that hard. This one's had nothing to them, like, even the queso wasn't warm on top of them. We had to be sad. Okay, I want chorizo. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it for us here at Flower and Garden. As you can see, we have the figment topiary behind us, so cute. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time as much as we did. Clearly, I'm very sunburned. Wear your sunblock, kiddos. Wear your sunblock. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you leave down below if you really like this vlog because there are new food booths opening and food booths changing throughout the festival. So I will be back to review those foods as always. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you on the next one. Have a magical, magical day. day. Bye. Bye.